meditation for the start of your workday. So bring yourself into a comfortable seated position. And that might be um, in a chair, on a floor, doesn't matter. And lengthen your back, lengthen your spine, lengthen the back of your neck. Almost like there's a string at the top of your head, balancing your head in the middle. And relax your forehead. Relax the space behind your eyes. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders. So you're in an upright and alert, yet relaxed state. Now imagine that there's a triangle. And the triangle begins at the top of your left lip. And it goes up to the space between your eyes, eyebrows, and then it goes down to the top of your lip on the right side. So like there's an invisible triangle. And we're going to breathe into that invisible triangle for 25 rounds, like so. Inhale through your left nostril, imagining the breath going to the space between your eyebrows. Exhale through your right. Inhale through your right. Exhale through your left. That was one round. Inhale through your left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. And continue to do that 20 more times.
Beautiful. Now bring your attention to your body and notice if there are any sensations in your physical or emotional space. Paying particular attention to where you notice any movement. It might be waves, swirls, bubbling, but do you notice any movement within your body? And when you do, focus on that. With the same amount of tension that you followed your breath with the breathing, bring that attention to where you feel any kind of movement in your body. And if it helps you, when you notice it, you can label it flow. And if there's no sensations in your body right now, that's okay. Bring your attention to that experience and label it rest. And if you feel your attention get pulled away by your to-do list, thoughts, sounds, let that be in the background and return your attention to where you can feel sensations or a lack of sensations in your body. and labeling it flow, if you notice any movement, and labeling it rest, if there's an absence of movement. And whether you have flow or whether you have rest, Notice how much space it takes up. If it's staying in one place or moving to other places in your body. Does it get bigger or smaller? Get curious about how you're experiencing flow or how you're experiencing rest in your body right now. Feel flow. Hmm. And at your own pace, begin to open your eyes and gently move your body. Thank you for sitting with me today. Um, you're, you're welcome to leave and go start your work day. If you're interested in why this would work as a beginning of work practice, I can share some insights with you about it. So when we are doing the first part, so the first part where we're doing the breathing, Sometimes when we first get to work, um, I don't know about you, but when I first get to work, I just like, uh, you know, want to check in and see what's going on. 
And what can happen is that depending on what comes in, right, like what messages uh, come in, um, that can sometimes set the tone of the rest of the workday. Um, but that's probably, that's leaving a lot up to circumstance. So if we can begin the day by going, oh, I'm going to ground myself while I'm building some mindfulness skills and check in, then it's like you get to check in with what's going on with you before you face whatever comes. With the work being that the more you make this a habit, the more mindful you are, the deeper you develop your mindfulness skills, the less reactive you might be to external circumstances. So the first practice, we are, we're doing a lot of things. And, and it's not meant, the breathing is not meant to be a relaxing mindfulness activity. Um, it might, you might experience it in a relaxing way, but it's really meant to build up your concentration because you're, you're, you're doing a lot of things, right? You're imagining this triangle, this invisible triangle. You're hearing yourself say, like, one, two, or inhale, one, inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, two, right? Like you're doing the counting as you do the practice. So you're building these concentration skills um, and sometimes giving yourself a lot of things to do, like counting, following the breath, noticing the sensations, makes it a little bit easier to get into the practice. And, and lessens your chances of getting distracted by outside things. You've got a lot of things to do, right? Um, you're also, so you're building your concentration. You're also improving your sensory clarity because you're noticing, you know, how it feels to have the breath go in and get it out. And you're seeing, you know, this invisible triangle as you go. And you're also having equanimity, right? So that anything that's coming up in the background, you're letting it be, you're like, I'll pay attention to you later. And you're bringing most of your focus to the breathing. Now that exercise is a very controlled, right? Where we are controlling uh, where our breath goes, we're controlling where our attention goes. And we're also, um, a, you know, controlling how many times we're going to do it. So we end the mindfulness exercise with going and, and practicing a little bit of letting go while, while we're still building concentration and sensory clarity. So we're letting go of paying attention to where the breath is and then just noticing when I'm not in control of where my attention and breath need to go, what do I notice in my body? And so this technique is called feel flow. It's a wonderful technique for checking in to just see where you're at. So at the beginning of your day, sometimes you may not even know that you're like, oh, actually I'm pretty calm today. But you might come and do this practice tomorrow and go, oh, I'm noticing there's a lot more activity. And that can inform how you carry yourself throughout the day, right? You go, oh, I'm going to have to work on being a little bit more patient today because I've got a lot of energy. Or I think I can handle that difficult conversation today and I can go into it because I'm feeling quite calm. So you're even checking in with where you're at uh, before you're starting your day. And of course, it's building, you know, your mindfulness skills at the same time. So again, by letting things be in the background and just noticing where the flow is and allowing it to flow where it wants, we're doing equanimity. So we're practicing letting go. We're noticing how things change, right? Like, so those are all beautiful things to start to have some equanimity and, and loosen the grip that we might have um, in needing power. We are uh, building our sensory clarity because we are noticing where there might be movement or lack of movement in our body and noticing how it changes, if it changes, how big it is. And of course, we're building concentration because we are focusing on, 
on the sensations for as long as we can and for as long as they last. And all of those skills allow you to, when you're at work, focus on what you want to focus on when you want to focus on it. Um, be aware of how you're feeling and what's going on, you know, with yourself and with others. And being a little bit, um, you know, slowly increasing your comfort level with having balance in your life and not feeling so um, pulled to dreaming about the future or push into, you know, old memories, but you can be present in the moment, letting things come and go, right? Accepting that change happens. Just all beautiful things to, to flex for career contentment. I'd recommend trying this practice, you know, for a week and see if doing this practice when you first arrive at work, before you check your messages or your email or greet people or have coffee, could you do this practice and notice if it changes how you feel at work, your concentration, how you respond to other people and see if it has, if it changes your experience of being at work or not, just like a little mini career experiment. Hmm. Thanks for sitting with me today. Enjoy this practice. I'm Carrie Twig, and um, I love that you came and watched this. Okay, thanks. Take care. Bye.